What's up guys, this is the Rofeman and I am here today to bring you back to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States, which is going gangbusters. You guys seem to really like this one. So, to round off where we left off, well, there is a lot of crap heading our way. We've got uh, a couple of smaller British armies coming, some Swiss Grenadiers, some Irish Volunteers, um, 33rd Foot and a bit of chaff. Recruited from the mainland, plus John Churchill's. This is their army that's actually at London. And we also have a French army, which is pretty darn elite. So we might have a few turns of rough fighting ahead of us. And I'm recruiting more line infantry from Rome. Horse grenade guards, dragoons. Um, I'm not going to... Eh, actually, I'm going to leave this, the, what little money I'm going to have. Actually, I might actually build a unit of expat infantry. So we are going to knock out the Genoese, but I'm going to be in an awkward position because I'm not going to have any ships in this area because the Spanish and the Brits are quite comprehensively blocking my way. And the Barbary States are, uh, have gotten blockaded down here. Unless... I recruit a sloop just in the off chance that they give me a... Ch they, in, just in the off chance they give me a, a gap with which to take Marco Gabrielli and dump them somewhere to attack the Spanish such as I could send them off to hit Madrid. So if I can get the Spanish out of the way here or what would actually be the best would be if I can get this army replenished well once I take Corsica to, to sail it over to Gibraltar and try to take it which would be tough but we would then own this strait and it would prevent British reinforcements from getting into the Mediterranean and then we could conduct operations northward against Spain so let's have a look uh, yeah, it's friendly Friendly with Portugal, but there's not a lot we can do. Let's check to make sure our research is being done intelligently. Intelligently-ish. Actually, I might try and do a bit of this. Hopefully it doesn't result in me losing a whole line of infantry unit, but... Just reinforce my biggest unit. God, it's a fly. Go away. Um... Just so this army needs less time to replenish. I think we're near enough. Got it down to the basic units that need to be done. Sorry, my phone was just buzzing. I'm just curious as to what it is. But the moment I can no longer put off has arrived. Well, I am tempted to move everyone a bit further in this direction. So they can't land and attack somewhere at the same time. So we do have one turn, but let's find out what's about to happen. The Brits are on the move. Please sink the... yes. Good, they're wasting time combining their armies. Please dump it off the... there you go. So they've dumped it off the coast. They're blockading me. To the south. Oh no, that's like the worst thing that could possibly have happened. Stop buzzing. I'm going to turn this damn thing off. So we've got the French. Oh, the French have really thrown a spanner in the works here. Ideally, well, I, need, I want to take Genoa just to get rid of Genoa. But when that army is ready by... When, the, when, when uh, Corsica is captured by God, they will storm back. Although I don't think I've got any ships that would be able to move that, that army. But while that army is there, they will, they will attack. I hope. Well, if I have to go on a small campaign to retake northern Italy, then I think it's worth doing. I do also need to try build up a navy. <laughs> it's been coming out before. I have no navy. Um, 
but I think in this case it, it would have been it wouldn't have been feasible to have a navy to hold off all of those ships at once. Yeah, the Barbary states are just determined to make sure I cannot get my ships away. So that garrison's destroyed. Spain is blockading me. And we've still got one British army out here. Yeah, so you're still... Because everyone's grumpy with me, but to, I'm tempted. I am tempted to actually leave that army alone. Because if they move, I'll intercept them with my garrison, which is behind basic fortifications, and I can probably hold all these guys off, because they're not that strong. So I might just recruit two grenadiers. If they move south and hit Naples, I think I'd be able to jump out and intercept them. But what I might actually do is let's take... Oh no, I do need all of you guys, really. To head back. I want you to go here. So I'm anticipating I can hold them with this garrison. Which itself is a bit of a risk. Let's upgrade some of these farms. It's a pity about you, but there's nothing I could do about that. What about the Barbary States? <gasps> so we've made peace with the Barbary States, so this ship which I can no longer which is no longer building but I'm, I'm, I'm at peace with the Barbary States so that will get gives me a gap let's see if I can try and next time I think I'll actually have to spend my uh, income that four grand on trying to get peace. So right now he needs to be up north to act as a, a hedge against this French army. At some point, well, as this army grows, I would like this to stick around in central Italy to defend itself. Anyways, we've got Milan's got new roads, still taking on a five by rank. Yeah, Savoy is lost, but that's okay. I want, still want you guys to spend your turn recruiting. I don't want to attack. Um, I mean, to be honest, I probably should just attack. But I'm not going to attack because I want, in this part, I want to fight this battle. So I'm going to hit N10. So the Brits are coming. They're going to land further to the south. Oh no, they're going to attack. Okay, so the Brits have landed another army. They've laid siege to Rome, which isn't great. So I might have to sally, but if I do, that's okay, because they've, they're most a, a good chunk of their force is based, of militia, based on a militia, and I can actually force them to... <gasps> Ooh, there might have left a little gap for me to get my army out. Well, I don't want to get the army out, but I want Spain to carry on doing this. I don't want them to... I don't want them to attack me and blockade my forts. Port. My ports. Sorry. It could actually be beneficial then if I attack Genoa because I could have attacked them, started replenishing, then bring that force back to the mainland. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack the last Genoese holdout, consolidate my army and get it back to Rome. But I suspect I'm going to have to sally out of there anyway because that second British army is probably going to come down or at the worst it's going to hit Venice. Which, if, it hit, if, if they hit Venice, they hit Venice. I can't stop them. So the, the plan to attack Gibraltar is a bit scuppered to dangers, threats on the home front. So let's have a look at my garrison. It's not a terrible garrison. It's 
big enough to deal with them. Jake Bond. Bond. Jake Bond. The trouble is, do I surrender? Do I give up the Italian front to, to start engaging these armies? Well, first things first. Mario. Let's take Bastia. Take Bastia. It knocks out Genoa, which was being frustrating, but it's kind of consolidated my territory. I can back to Italian lands to be more useful in the immediate threat. So we've got... So we've got a... Do you have a mortar battery against us? But to be honest, this army is pretty darn... This army is pretty darn um, aligned. Not aligned, reinforced. So let's group up my forces. Good stuff on the flank. On the flank, there's gonna be some conscripts. My general. No bones about it, we've got to run up. The howitzers are heading my mortars, which itself is fine. Let's bring my general over. Hunk of those goes down into square. Push my line up. Advance hard around the flank. So those guys are going to be knocked up pretty quick from attacking my square. Careful of that. Um, you guys need to run. Okay, let's start to deploy the artillery to engage battlefield targets. Let's get you guys back out of square and run over. Five rank by now, that'd be so good. We can charge that Phylacon Citizenry as long as they don't charge through and smash into those spikes. Yeah, they are getting. Mo this unit is getting destroyed by my pikes, but the hope is is they can do enough damage to still win the day. Obviously I want this army to be as... Okay, let's run my cavalry out of the way and go and attack their general rather than just getting fired upon by their armed citizenry. So off their pikes. Oh no you don't. Keep going this way. Hit that mortar unit. Actually you hit that last infantry unit. Nope, they're all dead. Sweet. Push this line up over the hill. Retarget my artillery. 
which is mowing down the rest of their fragments. The general has been killed. They're trying to cover as much suicide into the stakes. Take them on. Sweet. Let's take my artillery and start hitting. Let's go for this unit of conscripts, which has been taking pot shots of my conscripts, but to no real success. Okay, they've been routed. Hit the Farlock Armed Citizenry. This army's in generally pretty good shape. Certainly strong enough to help a Sally from Rome. I can have my infantry placed in front of the walls and my militia sat, uh, sat above manning guns. Yeah, that's everyone done. Sweet. The other way, end the battle. There's no point risking future casualty fire. To mark this episode off as recorded in my diary. Sweet! This course goes as. Can I move you guys out of Corsica without doing anything? I can. I can replenish you. So I want to take this opportunity to take my sloop, embark the army. And get them to get them to the mainland. So these guys are a bit unhappy. They're minus one, but that'll go away in a couple of turns. So if I take you guys and do this, I bring in this army as a reinforcement. So I want to make sure I bring up my line infantry and probably some cavalry first. good so if it so I'm gonna de deploy in front of the walls to try and to try and um, provoke them to attack me if they fall back then I'll wait for this army to join and then we will attack them so let's do this thing <laughs> the faith in the, uh, the idea that I Reinforcements are never delayed. I mean, sometimes they get delayed, but not for me. They don't. These are my reinforcements. Damn it! Have a drink. So my master plan was to put this armed citizenry here on the walls, so they'll be firing these artillery pieces. I'll probably put my mortars down here. Deploy my army like this. And you guys, I mean, I'm probably just going to go out of the way over here. My mortars are engaging. And reinforcements are joining over here, over on the flank, which is good. So sending over a regiment of horse. Start to provide a threat on two axes. So I want these guys to form up here. These guys are pretty darn useless. Our artillery has started firing.
Yeah. They're bringing in pikemen, yeomanry. But if they want to try it. All my infantry are capable of forming square. So the hope is if I push in from this flank, I might be able to force their artillery to rout. Ideally, I want to provoke their artillery into engaging. And if anything, I probably want to. I'm going to be engaging prior to securing artillery support because I've been, I've been super clever, and what I've done is I've organised my army so that I'm actually getting lots of infantry with no artillery. So I'm not going to have anyone sat back plinking, which is okay. Let's group these guys, so I'm aware who they are. Let's group you guys, so I know who you are. These guys back here are now engaging. Yeah, so they are now compressed into that corner. Which is good. So we shall move on them from two flanks. So let's speed up time a little bit. Because they don't know what to do. Because they've hunkered down. I. Uh, oh, let's take my mortars and do this. Hey, they're actually engaging at short range. Definitely don't know what to do. Okay, this infantry I might actually run, because right now it's going to be fairly out of the way. Yes, most of their flank... They've got lots of pikes, which is which is concerning. They've killed lots of their own men, which is nice. There we go, they're lobbing, they are lobbing shots all the way back to hit this militia unit, which is quite good. Okay, so you can see they are... going to be in a range of two of my pike two of my infantry units but they are forming into a position they're not they're not attacking me so they are going to stand here for a bit and get shot at and i want to get my line sorted because these guys are going to fill up this pocket come on you guys get ready make ready fire into the flank of the pikemen Looks like they're deploying in, in response to this army. Or these guys. The armed citizenry want to, to keep pushing to get to a point where they can just fire into this clump. But I want to play this very carefully. Now's the time. So let's put 
push it. These guys are actually in range to plink at all of their junk units to the rear. Okay. Some cavalry coming in. You're firing at the militia, which is okay. Another general's bodyguard. go. No, you gotta stay where you are, actually. So they're, f they're forming... Are they gonna crash into my first line? You can square... Flank of the pikemen. You guys, I don't want to charge into the pikemen. I want these guys to make ready and fire into the the backs of the pikes. There, that big blob. It's meant some citizen really fill the hole. These guys are in range, so they are going to open fire. Well, they should be. Jim has been killed to form square. Yeah, they've come back. There we go. Bomb line. I mean, come on, it's these damn trees. It's unfortunate that most of these guys are going to successfully route, but realistically we can't actually stop them. Such is life. We're not going to be able to intercept them. Cavalry still here. No. And then just keep intercepting, just attack them then. No, don't risk my general. Not when I've got a bunch of troops here. Speed up time because right now everyone's pretty much gone. <laughs> then he goes left of these militia. And I do want to continue. So let's hot fire with all of these guys. And just send my general bodyguard out. To have a have a right old time. So we've managed to well, things are actually gone, I think, quite well. Because we managed to recover the army from Corsica, which was in danger of getting trapped, back to the mainland. We've lost Savoy, but we have forces in place to take it back. Rome is no longer threatened. We've got an army back here ready to attack the other British stack, like a proper stack. We've got the forming, the formation of an actual garrison for the mainland. I think. Good times. Good times are ahead. I was a bit concerned. I mean, we've still got another British army out. To but the fact that I've got armies in the mainland ready to face off. Maybe we lost 375 men. So they are, that's a recipe. 
they are a recipe to just start raiding. Maybe go near Naples, but if they do, I'll chase them down, because I've got an army down here at least now. So I'm gonna spend your turn. You, you, I do want them to stay here for a bit. Ideally to replenish, but I have no money. Okay, I'm gonna hit in turn. Let's see what happens. Ooh, they're actually going to assault me. Well, that's pretty cool. But, looking at the timer, I believe... Well, before I do that, actually, I do want to do this. Let's drop some... Damn, it's a massive cavalry unit. Something like this. Just to make sure I get all the supporting arms I need. Um, cool. This could be a bit dodgy to defend for at least a while until my reinforcements come up. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for another Defense of Rome. Cheers everyone.